How y'all doing? Uh, I'm having a, a, a great time here um, in Montreal. Uh, I, I got to ask, you know, I, you know where I come from, you know, I, I believe in the word swagger, but <laughs> do the Montreal, but y'all think y'all are the smoothest. <laughs> I asked this dude, and you just can't answer the question. You got to put the swag with it. I went up to this dude. I said, yo, man, uh, can you tell me, you know, where this restaurant is? He's he like, hey, wait, wait, monsieur. Uh, je pas uh, visati. Uh, uh, follow me right there. Yes, come fa- follow me. <laughs> I'm like, dude, really? So I just went just right behind him. <laughs> but I'm having a great time here. Oh, you know what tripped me out, though? Uh, all the different cultures that are here. Like I went, you know, I'm a person, I love to be clean, you know, I love to get my nails done. I went to a uh, little Chinatown and uh, there was Vietnamese people. I didn't know, I, why Vietnamese people in Chinatown? But I went in there to get my nails done and those little women are vicious. <laughs> oh my God, do not go in there with no messed up feet. Oh my God. I mean, they will talk about you like black people. You don't even understand. This, you know, I'm in there sitting down, getting my feet done, feeling awful lovely about myself. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> this dude about 6'5 walks in, and little Mei Ling just looks up at him. Oh, ooh, you big like a tree. Ooh, come here, get a pedicure, my girl, sit right here. You know in your mind when you know something's getting ready to happen, but you don't know what it is? Everything was cool until he took off this one sock. He had the blackest toenail I had ever seen. She was like, oh, yeah. Oh, what happened? Your toe is blacker than you. We're going to have to charge you two times, okay? That's a lot of work. We're going to have to lift the toe, go under. Man, I feel so bad for him. I just, oh, my God, I paid for it. <laughs> you know, it's a trip. And then, oh, my God, oh, my God. I get in a cab because I'm thinking I want to go see the city, go to the old parts of, uh, of, of, of Canada and everything. And there was a black dude, you know, driving the cab. Like, that's unnormal. But there was a black dude driving the cab. Now, so I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm from Atlanta. I'm like, yeah, got me a brother in here. Now we can talk hood. <laughs> so I get in, I say, what's up, cuz? You know, that's how we do it. Like, what's up, cuz? He turned around, <laughs> he turned around, he said, bonjour. I said, what'd you just say? <laughs> So I like, man, so I like, man, you ain't gonna talk like that, man. It's just you and me. <laughs> he was like, uh uh, uh but uh, but, but what? No, man, it's just you and me. Take me to the strip club. <laughs> he like, no, I said, I don't care what language you speak, you understand strip club. <laughs> and we need to get moving. But then he tried to jip me out of my money. Oh my God. I gave him a 20 in Canadian money, and you know, the fare was only like $15, and he gave me a bag, and, and you know, how do you say thank you? Uh, yeah, merci, I was like, no, no merci. You owe me $5, <laughs> give me my money. They never try to give you a change, so I got mad and said, I'm just gonna catch a cab. I mean, uh, rent me a car, and just go and, you know, drive places myself, and they say, never forget where you come from, because I come out of the hood, and I try not to forget. But I've been gone too long because I went to this area of town. I didn't have no business being over there. <laughs> I was scared like a white person. I was so damn. The place was called Verdun, and I'm just telling. Yeah, you know where that place is at. I went into Verdun. I started speaking French. I like, oh mon dieu, oh mon dieu. Tipu, tipu. Let me tell you something. One thing about black people, if you smell and we smell you, we will talk about you. I get, into the, I get into the airport, there's this African woman, I don't know where, and if there's any Africans in here, I really don't care. You know, <laughs> there was an African woman, I don't know where she came from, she just appeared, she was like right there. So she walks up to me with this airline ticket, excuse me sir, can you tell me where to go? I was like, sure baby, I got a little time, let me see your ticket. Okay, you wanna, <laughs> damn! Ooh, uh-uh, <laughs> I gotta catch a flight, okay, but I'm gonna get you some help, just stay right there, no, right over there. So I went and got this white dude that was sitting down, okay, that was waiting on this flight. Now let me tell you something about white people. Y'all are so nice, you are compassionate, and white people will help you even if the smell is messing with their nose. <laughs> so the white dude was like, sure, this young lady right there, I'll help her, no problem, you go get your flight. We don't want you to be late, run! <laughs> so he, <laughs> don't make me laugh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> so he goes over to her, hi, hon, how are ya? Yeah, just give me your ticket, I'm gonna help ya. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. I, uh, <laughs> oh, my God, why are my eyes burning? I, 
<laughs> We're not going to make it, are we? Oh, my God. Mother of God. Okay. Just go down. Oh, my God. Oh, my Jesus. Just go to the left and um, get on the train. Okay. See you later. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me tell you. Oh, you know what, though? Okay, I'm going to stop because I'm being mean. No, wait a minute. I just thought of another one. I just thought of another one. What if a redneck <laughs> smelled you? Oh, my God. Same scenario. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where to go? <laughs> sure, darn, no problem. Let me, <laughs> let me see your ticket. We can help you out right here. Okay, what, what the hell wrong with you? You know what? We don't ask too much of you black people, dang it. Now, when you come over to our country, smell right. You can't come over here smelling like you stink. Stay your behind right there. I'm going to get, excuse me, sir. Come here. Security, there's a black uh, stanky woman thing. She, she right over her. What you mean what I want you to do? I want you to shoot her. I know I'm bad. I know I'm bad. Talking about the navigational system and everything. Let me, white people, I love you to death. Let me ask you a question, though, since you're here. <laughs> In the world of technology, electronics, navigational system, why does it always have to be activated with a white voice? Why? Why, why, why? Like y'all the only one on this earth. I'm getting so sick of that. I just want one day a white person to go to one of your stores and just buy navigation, and it sounds like a straight black person out of the hood. <laughs> Turn him. No, this ain't it. You's about a dumb back up. You know what? Cut me off. <laughs> Never mind. Click. I did it my damn self. <laughs> you know, I love, um, I, do, I love doing comedy, and um, I, I just like to, to perform um, because it, it, it makes the heart, um, you know, good. I do it in front of my kids, and I, I keep your kids clean. You know, I watch my son in Tide, and, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I scrub his ass. I'm just letting you know. I'm out. Thank you so much. My name is Arnaz J, and y'all have been beautiful. <laughs> 